Hello, 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 everyone. How you doing? Anthony Fantano here. Uh, some pretty interesting news over here. Thank you to the good people over at Stereo Gum for kind of shedding light on this. Uh, Grimes, Canadian art pop artist, producer, uh, singer, songwriter. Uh, she has some new music on the way. <clears throat> And she's been creating new music, although I didn't think that this music would be coming out for a while because not too long ago she made a public statement saying, hey, I'm not going to be dropping new music uh, for a long time because the music industry is shit right now. It was just a, a little, I guess, uh, I, I don't know, a little, little vague of a statement, like exactly why she wasn't dropping new music. Like, yes, I agree. The music industry do, does kind of suck. It could certainly be better. A lot, a lot of bad things about the music industry. Uh, in, in general. <laughs> However, uh, that doesn't exactly get to the heart of why you're not releasing new music. And now I think with uh, a few posts she's been making recently via Instagram, we're getting a better picture of exactly why that is. Uh, so Grimes posts an update saying that uh, essentially she's making a million beats in the studio, she's doing some collaborative work, and then she's kind of giving finer details in the comments of people who are kind of curious as to where she's taking things creatively. Uh, now, me personally, I've been looking forward to whatever Grimes is going to come out with next because I thought her last album was very good. And <clears throat> so now... She's talking about this next record of hers being highly collaborative, that she's making it for her label, which she refers to as shit. Keep in mind, this label is 4AD, a pretty legendary label uh, with a lot of great pop artists, a lot of great indie artists. It's kind of uh, disappointing to hear that you have a flagship artist on the label, and for whatever reason, uh, she's not very happy. She's not very pleased. I sort of wonder what it is about specifically the deal she has going on with them that is not working out entirely. Um, so yes, as Grimes says right here, separated by a period of time, one final album for my shit label, and then my first album on a label of my choosing, which I'm crazy stoked about, or I might fully go independent researching options. The second one will be Extreme Darkness and Chaos, which actually kind of like excites me a lot. Um, I would love to kind of hear what Grimes does in the darkness and chaos realm uh, with her music after separating from 4AD. And I sort of wonder if, like, the label is having any kind of impact on what it is exactly she's doing creatively, uh, because if she could, in fact, do whatever she wanted, and the darkness and chaos thing is, in fact, where she wants to take her music, why wouldn't she just come out with it on 4AD? Maybe there are some, uh, I don't know, uh, strategic and maybe personal and business decisions behind that that have nothing whatsoever to do with the label and have more to do with her creative process and uh, willingness to be more independent uh, when she releases that music. But it sort of makes me wonder if there is some kind of impact 4AD is having over the sound and the direction of whatever album she's going to be coming out with in the future, which if that's true, that's just really disappointing. Um, it wouldn't be the first time, especially recently, that I've heard of a ind independent label or, you know, supposedly an indie label or, you know, a label labeled as an indie label. Um, having that kind of input in the release, uh, in a release that an artist is putting together. Um, but I, I feel like that's exactly why you go to an indie label. Like, you want to get away from that. I don't want to deal with that from... Uh, Atlantic Records or from Sony or from whatever, but you're still kind of getting that same treatment uh, all the way down here. It's like actually pretty disappointing and um, like what's the point? You might as well sign to a major at this point uh, because if they're going to be that involved and, you know, sort of just have their hand in the pot of the creative process that much, like like why are you even, why are you even signing with an indie? But, uh, you know, I'm sort of uh, just kind of digressing there. Um she says the albums won't be released simultaneously, and uh, she might have to delete these comments because uh, uh, of what exactly she's saying about her label. Uh, you know, I, I hate to kind of uh, blow this up more than maybe it needs to be, but, uh, you know, still, it, um, it, it is worrying to me personally 
about what this next album is going to sound like. Is Grimes going to kind of phone it in with a few collaborators to kind of make the process of creating this album really fast, really easy, really quickly, so that she can kind of get out of this agreement and then go on to the next thing and make the music she really wants to make? Um, I'm not entirely sure. It seems like she could be bringing people into the fold to kind of speed up the process here of getting this album together and getting it done and getting it finished. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad. Uh, you know, it, it could be a, a decent record. But from these comments here, it seems like she's already projecting that her heart is not necessarily 100% in it. And even if her heart is in it and if she's like somewhat proud of the music that she is coming out with uh, the, for the final record for 4AD... Um, she is already sort of mentally onto the next thing that she's that she's w ready and willing to do once she's kind of out of that agreement, once she's out of that situation. So I really don't know what to make of this. Like, I want Grimes to creatively be in a place where she's happy and she's making what she wants to make and she is uh, doing what she feels that she needs to do as an artist to kind of like push herself forward and uh, be where she needs to be creatively. Uh, that excite me. That excites me. That interests me. Um, you know, that to me sounds fantastic. <clears throat> but still, you know, I do worry about this next album of hers for 4AD not turning out that great given kind of the negativity that she's kind of like throwing onto her relationship with the label because lots of things can affect the quality of a record. Um, and uh, I, I really don't know what to make of it beyond that. You know, I'm just kind of hoping for the best. I would love for this album and her next album to be great. I would love for this album and her next album to be really good. Uh, but I'm just kind of worried that she's just going to kind of rush through this process. And, um, you know, and, and even if that did end up being the case and the album didn't end up being that good, like it wouldn't make me lose faith in her or anything because, um, you know, I've kind of already read this and I've been audience to this and what she's describing for her next, next project sounds even more exciting. However, I do know that a lackluster album, uh, a mediocre album, can really kind of shake the faith that a fan base has in, in an artist sometimes. And it's already been so long since the release of her last album. Uh, like in, in internet years, like it's probably almost been a decade, uh, which for a lot of artists can kind of slow down hype, slow down interest, slow down excitement. Uh, which, you know, I don't want to see any of that happen. You know, I, I want the passionate audience that loves Grimes right now to be there when she comes out with that crazy record she's going to drop whenever she goes independent or whatever. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of curious. I'm kind of concerned, but I just want the best uh, for uh, what Grimes is doing artistically at the end of the day. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one. Uh, Anthony Fantano. Grimes forever.